The thing I love about movies is that you can take a relatively mundane story, like about how Michael Jordan was signed to a contract by Nike, which completely upended the entire sports industry, and how shoes are sold to athletes and merchandising and what is an athlete. And uh, that's the story of Air, and it's awesome. Let's talk about it. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Before we get started, click on that red subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you know whenever I post a new piece of content. It's impossible to talk about a movie like Air without talking about the man that made it possible. And that's primarily director Ben Affleck, who also stars in the movie. Uh, Affleck's had an interesting career. He blew onto the scene in the 90s with uh, the script for Good Will Hunting, which he wrote with Matt Damon, and which went on to win an Academy Award. And Good Will Hunting is, is a fantastic movie. Truly remarkable, great story, fantastic script, all the accolades, well-deserved, great direction by Gus Van Sant, um, incredible performances by Damon and Affleck, and of course, Robin Williams. So, uh, and then he's been, he's had kind of mixed results as an actor, you know, Gigli, people dunked on him for Daredevil, which was, you know, a little bit of trash. Um, but then he's done some, some really, really great stuff. He was in my favorite movie of 2021, Last Duel. He kind of had a bit of a career resurgence when he was cast as Batman slash Bruce Wayne. Despite some initial, initial blowback, he really, really crushed it in that role. Um, despite the fact that he's not really going to do a whole lot with that character in the future, it seems like, after The Flash. Um, and he's, you know, he's like a reliable kind of every man actor in movies these days, and he's done some really good stuff. As a director, his movies have all been really, really great. Um, I, I think Argo was good. Uh, he, I think that movie kind of got a little bit overhyped. The town was delightful. Um, he was also, he also, going back to his acting, he was in a movie a couple years ago that was a Netflix exclusive called Triple Frontier that I really loved. If you haven't seen it, it's great. Um, and of course, he's done some other duds like Pearl Harbor, um, I love Armageddon. People like to, you know, dump on that movie, but I think it's it's awesome too. Um, so yeah, this is his latest movie. It's called Air. He plays Phil Knight, who's the founder and CEO of Nike, and it kind of tackles a little bit of you know the, the like Nike at their lowest point, right? Which is they're more invested in track running, and and they're kind of like known for their their running shoes. But then they explode onto the scene with this massive contract for Michael Jordan, who had to choose between um, Converse, who was his second choice, Adidas, who was his first choice, and then ultimately Nike, who gave him what he wanted in terms of like this mega deal where he got a, pro a portion of the proceeds from each shoe that was sold. Um, and he still makes like hundreds of millions, over $100 million a year from those contracts. And, uh, and all that stuff is really interesting, but the question is, how do you make that... How do you make that story meaningful when you already know the details? Like, how is it? We ultimately know that that contract gets signed and that Jordan becomes the most prolific athlete in the history of basketball and the most bankable star in, the, in maybe the history of sports. And, uh, and Affleck does that by making the characters and the story surrounding that all interesting and unique. Uh, it has a great sense of place. Um, it really feels like a late 90, I'm sorry, late 80s, early 90s movies, movie in terms of its, uh, its set design, the character's clothing, um, how they talk, how they speak, the, the cultural references, the pop culture references at the time that they discuss in their everyday lives. All this stuff is really, really awesome. And it tells an intriguing story where you can't, you, you, you kind of wonder if they're going to drop the ball. How is it going to all play out? Um, and, and overall, this is really just a wonderful, delightful movie. It's engaging, it's funny, it's endearing, it's heartwarming, and it's very, very, like it's a very just good and optimistic and genuine film. Um, when so much stuff out there now is pessimistic and nasty and gross, this is just one of those movies that's impossible not to love. So I really loved Air, it's one of the best movies of the year, and if you haven't seen it yet, Give it a shot. It's out. It's streaming for free on Amazon. That's how I watched it. And uh, yeah, check it out. Great performances. Jason Bateman is in this also. He's awesome. Matt Damon is is Matt Damon. He's great. Affleck is really good as kind of the quirky and interesting Phil Knight, um, who's ultimately the head honcho who has to make the decision whether they're going to pull the trigger on the steel or not. And uh, yeah, just a delightful movie. Loved it. Can't recommend it enough. So 
air gets a big, uh, big thumbs up for me. So thank you so much for checking out the video. If you found it helpful, helpful, I hope you would consider subscribing. You can also like and share the video. That tells the powers that be it's per worth promoting. Sorry for my voice, still a little sick, getting over a, a pretty significant bout um, of COVID slash flu. So, uh, but I'm still churning out videos every week. Let's do this. I'll see you next Wednesday at 9 a.m. Thanks for watching.